Hi, Brad from WPSites.net, solutions for WordPress. Uh, let's take a look at the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast. Uh, this is one of the best all-in-one SEO plugins for WordPress. And uh, I've written two extensive uh, blog posts on it. Uh, this is the latest one, which is on the settings. And uh, I'll just show you what my settings are. If, if you're new to WordPress and uh, and you're not quite sure how to configure the settings, uh, I'll show you uh, what I'm using. Once you've installed the plugin, you'll see a little icon down here, and uh, these are the different uh, different pages for SEO by Yoast. Now, just under this one here. Uh, Use meta keyword tags. This is the only uh, box that I've checked here. Um, I, I don't believe keywords are used by the search engines, but I've ticked it anyway, so I really don't think it makes any difference there. Um, and these settings here uh, basically uh, relate to the SEO box, which is on all your uh, post edit pages. Uh, I'll show you that now and you can just determine of whether you want it shown on every page or not so uh, if we look at my latest post you can see the box here is under underneath the editor on every uh, edit post page and you've got general page and all it is advanced and social settings and I'll, I'll go through them a bit later on so uh, so with those settings previously you can determine if you want the, the box shown on all post edit pages and also if you go to screen options up here you can see it as well so if you tick that um, the box will disappear so uh, so you, you may not use these settings on, on the edit post uh, screen um, you don't really need to use them uh, unless you've got some sort of advanced SEO option or feature you need to use so uh, so that's all the settings uh, under the dashboard and you can also determine on whether you want them uh, shown here as well so uh, so that's pretty straightforward now this is very important if you've just started um, make sure you verify your site with Google firstly and uh, and Bing even though you probably won't get a lot of traffic from Bing you, you may do, but make sure you verify with, with, with Google at least and uh, if not uh, Bing and Alexa as well so you can just put in the information in there. Click on this link here and that will take you through to Google Webmaster Tools and you can sign up and uh, you'll get the meta uh, tag which you place in here and just save the settings. So let's have a look at titles. Now titles are very important uh, force rewrite titles. You have to check to make sure your template uh, is using this bit of code here. Uh, it'll be in your header PHP file, so you can easily check that using FTP or cPanel. Most premium, quality premium themes will include this, so you won't need to force rewrite titles. Um, it's a lot better uh, if you've got. Uh, this uh, bit of code already in your header PHP file. Now singular pages, uh, just look at looking at the home page here. I've just put in a basic title for my for my home page, WordPress site solutions for WordPress. So it's a descriptive title uh, which covers all the content on the site. And the description here, this is this is important. Make sure you use a, a good description. Uh, you don't want to really stuff it with keywords, but make sure it covers uh, you know, the main content on your, on your blog. In my case it's plugins, themes, SEOs, how-tos, and uh, tutorials, and videos, uh, all WordPress resources, so, uh, so make sure you use that. Meta keywords, the, uh, there's, the keywords aren't used by the search engine, so I don't put anything in there. Uh, now, looking at, uh, there's a whole stack of different codes you'll find down here, different tags which you can use, and uh, for, for posts I'm just using title. I think by default when you install this plugin it'll have the title tag 
and we also have the uh, the site name. So, I, for for all my posts, I only want the title. I don't want the site name next to the title. So, if the title was um, how to install WordPress dash WordPress site solutions for WordPress. I don't want that title. I, I want all my titles unique, so I've just put the title tag in there, and for the meta description, the the excerpt. So uh, I think these are the best settings. And if you have a look on uh, Yoast's website, I, I, I'm pretty pretty sure he ex he uh, suggests the same settings there. Same for pages as posts, title and excerpt. Uh, Woo framework, it really depends on what framework you're using. You may not have these settings there, but I've got different page templates um, uh, which I'm not using, so I don't need to use any of these. I don't need to place any tags in there. Uh, taxonomies, uh, for, I'm using categories, so I'm using term, title, and site name. So you can simply select the tags from here and place them in there. But I think for SEO, uh, this is the best. Uh, meta description, category description, so that's pretty self explanatory. I'm not really using post tags at the moment. I do plan on grouping content uh, which is related, related content together within categories using tags at some stage. So I will go back over all my posts and, uh, and add some tags. So uh, these are the settings I'm using for them. And the next generation next generation gallery uh, tag uh, I'm, I'm not really using tags for next generation gallery but uh, but I may do at some stage so I'm using these settings slide page portfolio gallery these are specific to my theme uh, the, the different page template options I have special pages author ar archive I'm using name site name and these this is the settings I'm using for the for the meta description I'm not using anything for date archives, and these are the settings I'm using for search pages and 404s. So, uh, so that's pretty straightforward. I've, I've also included screenshots in my latest blog post on uh, on the WordPress SEO plugin settings, and uh, you can view them on the blog post. So we'll go to the next one: uh, indexation. Indexation rules. Uh, this this is this is fairly self-explanatory here. Um, I've I've ticked the ones that I don't want indexed, so I don't want author archives. I don't want date based archives. I don't want sub pages of archives and taxonomies indexed because this could produce duplicate content. Um, I'm not using tags at the moment, so I've checked that. I don't want them indexed. Uh, category archives. I do want the category archives uh, because I know the category archives only include the title and a snippet. It doesn't include the full content, so I won't won't be penalised for duplicate content there. But uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to have these indexed. Uh, archive settings. Um, I've checked both of these. Uh, robots uh, meta settings. I'm, I'm not using these settings at all, so um, I don't think you really need these. Now, social. Um, there's different ways to um, deal with Open Graph metadata for Facebook. You can install a plugin. I've read different blog posts on other sites, uh, which which suggest you can uh, you can add code to your uh, to your template files as well. Uh, if you're using the latest version of the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin, you can basically just f um, you can use this this facility here, and you, you can uh, you can decide on which Facebook page you want to use um, to authorize access for Facebook Insights. So uh, so I've, I've checked this here. Uh, there seems to be a problem with this plugin at the moment because my my WordPress uh, Facebook page isn't showing up here, so uh, so that's a problem with the plugin, which which I'll have to improve in the next update. But this is this is the easiest way to um, to access your Facebook insights, uh, and uh, uh, this this will this will automatically connect to to Facebook insights and using this uh, 
this feature here. So that saves installing another plugin or adding a new code. Now this is a great uh, built-in feature of the plugin. Uh, XML sitemaps. Um, sitemap is very, very beneficial for SEO because it will uh, group together all the URLs of all your content and, um, and, and these settings here will automatically ping Yahoo and ask. So uh, you want to make sure this is, uh, this, is, this is checked here. You can exclude different, uh, if you don't want certain uh, um, templates uh, included in the sitemap, you can exclude them here. You can exclude the taxonomies like categories and tags. Have a look at permalinks now. Uh, the only setting I'm using here are the attachment URLs. So any any images that I embed in, in blog posts or, or any static pages um, automatically create another page. Uh, but I don't want those attachment pages indexed. So what I've done is I've redirected any attachment URLs for images to the parent post URL. So uh, this is this is the best way to do it in my opinion. Let's take a look at internal links. I haven't done anything here. This is about breadcrumbs. My theme already includes breadcrumbs. So this Canadian navigation, but but in my opinion, creates more clutter. Um, I, I I don't really need it. I think my na navigation is good enough. Um, if if you're theme doesn't include breadcrumbs you can use this uh, code here and just click this link and it will explain where to insert this code in the theme template files and here's some more uh, features you've got for breadcrumbs but I don't, uh, I don't use breadcrumbs now RSS uh, you can add links to your RSS feed and uh, is his four different tags which are included which you can use so these will these these links will be added to um, all your RSS feeds and um, I like to have a blog link and also an author link on mine but you can choose whatever you think is appropriate and just uh, copy and paste them into these these boxes import export if you're upgrading from the all-in-one SEO plugin or Headspace 2 um, He's created a link here for the SEO Data Transporter plugin, which is a great way to back up all your existing SEO settings. And uh, I've written a post on this actually, so um, you can read about that on the, on the site, or, or you can just click this link here, install the plugin, and uh, and you can import uh, import the settings from uh, for, from any of these three uh, three uh, plugins here. So the the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast is is more uh, comprehensive. It's 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 definitely an all-in-one SEO plugin. Uh, the all-in-one SEO plugin itself is very simple. I've written a post on it recently, and uh, and it's a very good plugin for beginners if your theme doesn't already include certain SEO features which you need. Uh, but I think if you're using a really good theme like the thesis theme for WordPress, I don't think you need any SEO plugins. So uh, unless you've got something uh, specific, out, something you know out of the ordinary that you need to do. So uh, so this is a really good page here if you want to upgrade to this plugin. Use the SEO data transporter. Tick the appropriate boxes there, and you can import all your settings. So that's pretty much it, really. Uh, there's an edit files link here as well. You can uh, be careful when you're using these because this will edit your, your, your HD access file. And uh, if you make a mistake on there, you're gonna you're gonna suffer the white screen of death. So make sure you know what you're doing if you edit this. So that's that that's pretty. You've also got some settings on each of the uh, the edit post screens. Uh, for page analysis, some advanced settings where you can do a 301 redirect. Um, I've already written about these in a previous blog post, so 
There you go, the word process EO plugin by Yoast. Cheers.